Let's see. I don't have enough resources. I could probably... Now that as said that, I will be requesting some Rune Factory on every video. I mean, the easiest way to get me to do anything is to point out, hey, there's a new version, new Rune Factory game coming out, you know, in a month. Because uh, if, if I get that as, like, a, not an option, but if I have that to, like, motivate me, I will actually get much more motivated. Because, yeah, I, I like to cover new, new games, because that's, like, that's when it's really worth it for me, and that's that's when I can do the timing, because I don't have to worry uh, about, like, scheduling with another game, for example. Because it, it's really hard to say, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna play uh, Rune Factory. And then it's like, oh, that's gonna be, like, a 60-episode series. And then I've got, like, seven other games uh, in the meantime that are gonna come out and more or less just be like, Hey, Wander, your business is failing because you're stuck on this one game forever. Because it does feel like that sometimes. Okay, so we got a boatload of wood, which is good. We needed it. Okay, let's put those away. Uh, let's see. Wood chest. So that's that's squared away properly. But yeah, personally, the uh, the Rune Factory S game that I'm looking forward to that's coming out is uh, RE Legend, I believe, which should be out. Jeez, I thought they were actually going to be releasing their alpha within the next like couple weeks or months or something like that. I should probably double check my emails. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, we don't have enough bronze bits for that. So let's let's see about the haunted cave instead. Uh, assembly index? Oh, here we go. That's much better. I'm... Hmm. I wonder where we're supposed to get the haunted cave sign. Maybe it's here. Okay, haunted cave sign. And Tree of Claws. Cool. So we can actually just go assemble these real quick. I wonder if I can make uh, more of them for myself. They look kind of fun, actually. But yeah, I'd, I don't know. I'd, I'd like to play, like, a lot of these games. I'd like to play almost everything. That's the other stressful part about, like, demands and requests and whatnot is, like... I would actually like to play them, and that's part of the reason I think why they stress me out a little bit, because I start, like, trying to entertain thoughts of, like, okay, how do I do this? It's usually not so doable. Uh, oh, I gotta be up there? Oh, there's a chest up here, actually. That's neat. The Haunted Cave! Okay, that is actually kind of charming. I was kind of expecting that there'd be even more, uh, more bits. I wonder if you'd play whatever you want, want to play whenever you want to play them. I... Yeah, unfortunately it's just never that simple. Like, truly... Uh, my goal is to try and finish everything currently on my plate and make sure that I have enough room for everything new coming out. I should probably start playing Battlefleet, Battlefleet Gothic Armada. Because uh, I think I got the beta copy for that installed and, ever, and ready to go. I just haven't had the, uh, the time to sit down and do it. I also don't know if it's actually going to be any good. That's the other fear. Okay. We're going to go back to the DD stop. So we need four plates and two pipes per. The rest is mad easy. But, ugh. A 
what do we do next? I could go fight things. We've got a number of healing items, yeah? Yeah, okay, let's go dungeoneering. I need a change of place. Let's see, does my house still smell like paint and am I okay from the fumes? Uh, I don't think it smells as much anymore. I might have just gotten used to whatever resi residual spell smell there is. Um, but yeah, whatever it is, it's minor. Uh, it was real bad yesterday and it's, it's improved a lot. Partly because they actually did open up the other apartment downstairs and, you know, ventilate it. Because previously it was just filled with fumes that were rising straight into our apartment because they had nowhere where to go. Uh, which really isn't a good good setup for uh, me. Uh, let's see. But, uh... So it's better. The other thing was Shell uh, boiled a bunch of this, like, it's really disgusting. Like, it's not good uh, flavor-wise, but uh, it's it smells really nice. Uh, it's this, like, apple cinnamon tea, and it, it's straight up undrinkable, but it smelled great. And so Shell boiled up a bunch of it and just filled the apartment with it, and it smelled real, ni real nice, actually. But let's give this a go. That's good. Didn't want to lose your favorite streamer. <laughs> if it actually was going to become a health issue, I was going to just leave. It would. I'm not going to stick around a. Uh, I'm not going to stick around in my apartment just, just out of some weird solidarity for like I shouldn't have to leave, because of fumes. Like I'm not, I'm not uh, dumb enough to do that sort of thing. What do we? Oh, okay. That's that's how we get up here. No, what I do want to do is actually, like, bail. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> These... It's a nice apartment complex, but it's one of those where, like, you have to live in a place where, like, the people aren't just going to blow you off because it's inconvenient. Like, I always... I always get really annoyed when uh, I'm like, I have this problem, and people are like, well, we can't do anything about it. And I'm like, yes, you... Yes, you can. Yes, you absolutely can. Uh, so in this case, we I I had effectively approach approached them. I'd effectively been like, yo, do you have any like big fans so we can blow this like horrible stench out of our apartment faster? And um And they straight face said, No, we don't. We don't have any fans. At which point I see three maintenance workers with large fans walking into the apartment below us. Uh, to help ventilate it better and it's like it technically was helping but boy was that one of those like I you actually lied to me that's not a, that's not a good way to treat your tenants to be totally honest and I get it it's like you can't you can't do everything for everybody but like I pay a lot of money on on rent and you think at the very least they could Supply a box fan because they messed up, but no. Uh, can you tell I'm still mad about this? I'm still pretty mad about this. And thank you, Verisog, for the 500 bits. 500 bits for Wanda. Thank you. Okay. Nope. Okay. I'm not really sure where I'm going with this or why I went up here. Those posters or something, maybe. Maybe? Oh, that has no collision. Okay. Well, whatever is platforming up, uh, whatever we have to do to platform, I can't do whatever it is. So yeah, what we want to do is move out. Unfortunately, uh, more or less the same day I got the uh, response from the house we were looking at, and, uh, so I, I sent a slew of, it was like 20-something questions about, like, yeah, how noisy is the area? Do we have to worry about, you know, uh, trains going by or planes going by overhead? And most of the answers were, like, two-word responses, you know, not even capitalization, not even anything fancy. Just straight up, like, don't know, uh, can't say, uh, 
you know, who owns the property, we do. But then they talked about, like, an owner wanting to inspect the place. So, it sounds like, uh, whoever they were, whoever was in charge of communicating in this, si in this situation was very much, like, not enthused about working with me. So I was just like, well, no matter how nice a place looks, if the management company is going to be garbage, I want nothing to do with it. Because that's what we're currently dealing with, you know, a, a particularly uncaring management company. And I think I'd, you know, rather keep looking. Ugh. Let's see, can you hit the chain to drop the crate? I don't think so. I don't think this game's that complicated, unfortunately. That'd be cool, but still. But honestly, the resources you gain from anything in this are so, so minor that it's better that I just keep rushing forward and just finish the, uh, finish the dungeon. It's a darn shame, too, because, like, this place was getting better. They're, uh, I don't know how many of you guys are smokers, and I hope, I, I don't want to offend people, but I really don't like the smell of smoke, and I really don't like uh, being around smoking, and so they're they're finally getting rid of that. Because, yeah, we haven't been able to be on our deck since we moved in, because we had a smoker on every single side of our apartment. Which is baffling, like, I thought smoking was on the, uh, was going down, but I guess maybe just more people that live in apartments smoke? Question mark? I don't really know. And it would suck, because we'd be out there, and it's like, yeah, let's have a, a nice, like, relaxing... Uh, ev evening on the deck before stream time, blah blah blah. And then it's just like, oh, neighbor downstairs is smoking. You can move countries. I heard North Korea is nice. That sort of thing is kind of tough to do. For starters, we've got family in the area. And two, you can't really, like, live in another country for too long. Uh, usually when, like, when you move to a different country, uh, you can only be there for, like, X number of months. Uh, and they don't generally like, you know, you overstaying a tourist visa or whatever. And you can kind of do some stuff. Uh, the only way to generally bypass is if you have, like, an employer. But I don't have an employer. I'm, I'm self-employed. And apparently that makes foreign countries kind of uncomfortable. Understandably, honestly. So it would be hard to stream in North Korea... North Korea. North Korea, yes. South... Oh, you said North Korea. I was reading that as South Korea. Sorry, brain. But yeah, absolutely not North Korea. That's... That's stupid. But no, South Korea was actually one of the, um... South Korea was one of the places that I'd been considering as a... Uh, teach English as a foreign language instead of YouTube. Uh, because, you know, I wasn't sure if YouTube was actually going to work for me. Because... You know, I went to college to be a, an artist, and that wasn't really uh, panning out as well as I would have liked. Oh, there's a lot of these guys all over the place. But in the end, I became a full-time YouTuber, and the need to go to uh, South Korea uh, kind of dropped. For obvious reasons. How do we get to the rest of these? I guess we flip this and both of those open. So like lots of apartments don't allow smokers, so you get unusually high concentration of them in the ones that do. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, the cheaper the apartment is, the more likely they are to allow smoking. Uh, and so this one is just getting to the point where they're charging high enough and saying no to smoking. Yeah, it was supposed to be no smoking indoors, but they wouldn't stop people on the balconies, which... Yeah, now they are. Now it's saying none on the premises. Whoops, I don't want to exit the runes. What am I doing? But, you know, that's a major plus for us, because I, I would like to, you know, be able to go out walking and not have to smell smoke. And, like, I can smell it occasionally and be fine, but it's... Yeah, it's... It's, it's, not, it's not my thing. And, uh... I certainly don't want to have to, like, smell it from the bounds of my own home. The first apartment we ever rented, uh, the neighbor downstairs smoked directly below our air conditioning machine, which was, that was not a fun surprise, because, yeah, effectively, 
uh, effectively we'd have to keep the air conditioning off as long as he was smoking. And he was, you know, a heavy chain smoker too. Uh, so we'd have to listen to his kids screaming all day and then, you know, live in a stifling hot apartment because, hey, what do you know, it's filled with this guy's smoke. So now we're going to just go for house rentals and hope for the best. At least there's always, like, more places that might be good. Unfortunately, there's, like, uh, for the places that I'm looking, half the rental companies have, like, atrocious reviews and everybody's like, yeah, don't, do not rent from these people. It's a bad idea. They, like, don't have anyone's interest at heart except for, like, their own wallets and stuff. And it's like, ooh, that's always a bit spooky. I want somebody that will at least, like, come out and say, like, Yeah, your, uh, you know, your heating's broken. We'll fix that ASAP. And, like, one of the reviews was straight up, like, We haven't had heat for two years, because they won't fix it. And they threaten us whenever we say we're just going to bring somebody else in to fix it. Made me question why they were still living there. I don't know what kind of deal makes that sort of thing worth it. I think they were probably using the wood-burning stove, because... You know, this is an area where wood burning stoves are off, off, uh, off, are common. I was gonna say often, but still. Die. The most relaxing music ever for this. I should probably turn it up actually a little bit. Oop. We gotta be a little concerned. Because next level is. The, uh. Next level is the actual, like, boss guy. You should probably heal beforehand. Let's see. Unfortunately, the other thing is just, like, getting a good place is expensive. Not so bad. I actually make enough money that I can afford things now, but, like, a couple years ago, uh, we were pretty strapped for, like, where we could move to. And, like, the extra flexibility is nice, because, yeah, some of the places we're, like, looking at, it's like, oh, hey, it's, like, 1500 for this place. Oh, it looks like kind of a dump. Oh, this place is 1800 It looks amazing, and probably is amazing. And one of those is on the market for, like, six months, and the other is on the market for, like, no months. Um, and it's like, it kind of, it kind of sucks being a person that doesn't want a large place. Oh, we can go up there. I gotta remember that. It kind of sucks being a person that wants to, to live in a very small house, because almost all small houses are kind of junky, uh, just by nature, because, I don't know, reasons? Yay, Topaz. Man, the loot in this game is just dismal. It's like, what I... And it's this guy again. What I really want is just like a... What's my stamina at? I could use a little bit more than that. Get another one of these going so I can heal a little bit during combat. Because, yeah, what I want is actually a relatively small place. Am I poisoned? I don't think I'm poisoned, I'm just healing really slowly. I just gotta keep the tempo up. Okay, I think if you hit him from behind, you can kind of stunlock him a little bit. I rolled. I rolled. Well, that's okay. And we get all the goodies. We're an adventurer. All right, and we get lion claws as a special item. Neat. Maybe a new what? A new weapon. New good item. Yeah, looting games is generally hard to do well since there's large focus on making your own stuff. There's only so much you can do to differentiate. 
found loot. What this game should do is actually have just straight up a boring, um... Uh... A, like, not a boring system, uh, just a fairly easy, basic, no... No extra features Diablo-style dungeon crawl. You just have a dungeon, you go as far as you can, and then it's like, okay, well, that's... Oh, wait, no. You go as far as you can, and then it's like, yep, all right, you've you've made it that far, perfect. Uh, and then you start over every night, and maybe you get some, like, checkpoints to bring you down or something like that. And then, um... Let's check out those lion claws. Attack 150. Boxing gloves that look like a pair of lion's claws. They'll deal a great amount of damage to enemies while also looking stylish. And we do lose the crit, but... Oh my god, look at my hands. Um, but effectively have a really, really just basic loot treadmill dungeon crawl. All you're doing is just going down, uh, fighting for as long as you can, and then... You know, eventually, presumably dying. You know, maybe you can finish it or something and it just boots you back to the beginning every single time. And you find runes and upgrade materials. All sorts of things. Just little bits that uh, will help your farm. But nothing that'll, like, make your farm ridiculously OP by, like, focusing on it. Um, but most of the things you find in the dungeon help the dungeon. And then out on your farm, most of the things you do don't really help your dungeon crawling. Uh, you know, maybe you can make some extra healing items, you know, food, alchemy, stuff like that. Um, but what you can do is you can upgrade the equipment that you find while dungeon crawling using resources on your farm, so there's kind of the symbiosis between both. And you don't need to do both, but you can, and it's helpful. Whereas, in comparison, this is like... They don't give you too much from the dungeons because they can't make... make the rewards too good. If they're too good, then everybody's just gonna go dungeon crawling instead. So instead, the dungeons actually kind of suck, and at least currently, and instead it's more of a, like, you know, you do this to... Okay, so these swing really slow. I might actually have to give up on them already. I mean, they look hilarious, but their attack speed is so bad, I can't stunlock anything. I guess I'll just go chop down this big tree here. Let's see. Whoop, and I pass out. Well, that's fine. Oh. Let's see, are there alt attacks or special abilities associated with weapons? Nope. And yeah, weird. Fist weapons are usually quick. Not these ones. Like, they do boatloads of damage. I did a thousand on that last hit, but... They're just so big and so heavy, probably. Okay, sort all. All my inventory was kind of full anyway. So... At this point, do we have... We've got some of these. We're gonna need so many more. How much bronze do we have sitting around? That's a small stack, at the very least. Okay, let's refuel. And honestly, I've got so much copper. Let's cancel that and switch over to bronze bars. <laughs> Everything is on bronze now. Oh, we need hardwood planks for that. Ah. We might actually need to make some more, hard more hardwood planks. I guess that's fair. Yeah, these things are pricey. Let's get that out of there. Let's see, upgrade ranch space. How much money do I have? I do have enough, yeah. Yeah, it's a good time for it. Whoa! Hi! That's an that's an upgrade. That's a lot. Alright. <laughs> well, this is appreciated.
Refuel these. Keep making some more hard hardwood planks. Okay. So what do we got? Dawa. Panbat infestation. Wants me to deal with it. Oh, right. He wants me to, to build, like, the... There's a thing that'll just... It's like a boombox that just gets rid of them. Well, I guess we can go work on that. Anyway, yeah, we've got a load of space now. Admittedly, we don't have a whole lot of money, but yeah, time for more chess. Yeah. The problem is the chests require bronze. I mean, they don't necessarily, but still. Oh, it's this. Oh. There's a giant, like, bubble thing just coming out of it. This looks really awkward. There we go. How do you even end up with that, like, ginormous... How do you end up with these flaws? Those are ridiculous flaws. Okay, well, let's... We're gonna need to upgrade a lot of space here. Well, no, we've got this space. We gotta, we gotta move things around now, unfortunately. Which takes time. Oh, well. So, let's start by moving the assembly station back. I kind of wish I could actually just move everything here. It's almost tempting to actually... No, no, no. We'll do this. We could actually start farming. Now that I'm looking at it. And we could definitely get some more furnaces. I wish I could, I wish I could actually, like, buy bronze plates or bronze bars or something. It looks like you can move the house itself. Can I? Um... Okay, good. I can rotate these. So yeah, we might as well put the house in the back. Back corner. I don't think I can rotate it. Oh, I can. I don't think I'm going to want to. Not yet, anyway. We'll just put it in the back. Okay, that gives me a lot more space. And it looks like we can expand it yet further if we wanted to. Yeah, so next order of business. I want to upgrade the house. 10,000 goals. 20 bronze bars. Okay, so that's easy enough. I think I'd prefer to focus on getting a coop and a shed first, though. The bigger house would be nice, but we don't have the uh, the factory set up for it anyway. So a coop and a shed, I think, are going to be my next two. So 2,000 goals, that's easy. And then 5,000 goals. Oh, but we need the iron wooden plank. That's a little tougher. Well, 2,000 th two wooden boards, iron bars, and some rope. Yeah, that's easy enough. Oh, let's see. Do I have any stone in my inventory? I don't. Okay, so how does upgrading the assembly station work? Um... It makes it bigger, and it lets you... Oh, jeez. I'm not entirely sure, to be totally honest. Wait, I can just sell DD stops here? That's kind of great, actually. Eh. Might as well go sell these over here. Yeah. Four more bronze pipes. No, no, no. I need a lot more than four. How do you even get up there? Never actually got up, gotten up to the... Oh, there we go. I gotta go talk to the mayor. So you spend a day fishing to go get money. I could do that. Oh, yeah, I've never been up here before. 
Kyle. Wonderful. I'm sure this will be a perfect, uh, perfect for a date or dare. Haha. <laughs> I... Okay, I have enough money. Holy schmutz. That's, um... That's a lot of money! That's 8,000! That's 8,000 dollar dues! Okay, when there are two or more DD stops, you can ride from one, one to another. It'll actually be pretty nice. Hello? Our research is almost done. Okay, so something tomorrow. We gotta work on the rest. I'm. Mm, nah, bleh. I'll have to figure it out. Okay, DD. So yeah, this will be a nice. Zero hours, eleven minutes. Oh wait. Oh, there's actually a driver. I guess it makes sense. We should get a stable at some point so I can just have a mount. Well, let's go start the Panbat infestation situation.